will come aboard. <laughs> I've made it. I've made it all. I've prepared. I've been down in the lava zone once already, and I've. Well, I've noticed that something was missing. I forgot to produce the tablets that I needed. It leads to a deep, dark place called the Lava Zone. The inactive Lava Zone, at least. There's giant sea dragons and all kinds of beasts down there. So I might as well save the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna make some commentary in that voice. Sometimes. Alright. <laughs> I'll leave my prawn suit here for now. There's two places where I need to go with these bay with these things. There's one here. One special tablet. I need to scan the blue tablet. I think I need diamonds for that. So I could get down. Let's see. It's an alien thermal plant. Primary containment facility. Facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system. A depth 1.4 kilometers. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing a energy collected on the on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment 1.4 kilometers in an area south southeast of here of volcanic activity connected to this cave network. Started within a natural chasm. Power distribution, self warping quarantine enforcement units, 5%, 10% for the Arc Network sanctuaries, 10%, quarantine enforcement platform, 35%, reserve 20, primary containment facility, 20, 20. research disease, disease research offline. There's no other way, there's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. There's something more. Ion power data. An ion cube gold and silver. I did f mine a few of those and stashed them away. Oh, an alien robot. Yeah, nothing new. <laughs> they give you no antibiotics, nothing. No med. No meds. I gave you barely anything. Bastards. Are you saving costs every time? Even if it's at the expense of everyone else. I've checked everything in here. Let's leave. There's one more facility I think we need to explore. Or two, perhaps, but... There's also danger. I am prepared, though. Yeah, I'm gonna save the game quite often now, so I can reload in case I need to. The brown suit is fully charged, and really can't go anything worse. Because the temperature is quite high, and I've gotten the thermal charger. This was the base at 1-200 meters down. And this is the bastard of a sea dragon that almost killed me. Time to go. Luckily, my thrust has... A Greatly increased, and the bronze suit can go quite away now. Luckily, it's unluckily, it's a little, a little dark. In the uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, I know what that is. That's uraninite. Basically, it's uranium dioxide. Things, you know, basically a classic uranium mineral. It's not directly used because it's not pure and it's also uranium-238 instead of 235. But well, I 
think I've arrived down here, where I should go. It's been a long journey through the ocean. Crash landed somewhere. I have not known how to navigate, but we've reached the lowest points of this hellhole, I'd call it. This is the active lava zone. And there it is. Huh? Oh yeah, a little help would be <laughs> good here. The sea dragon's probably gonna fuck me up if I don't make my way out of here. Oh dear. Alright, my prawn suit's a bit damaged. But it should be fine. Come on, can't you leg it a bit faster? I installed a thrust upgrade on you just so you could go. And now you're not going. I should be mad at piece of technology. I mean, it does incorporate some kind of AI. <sighs> I should be safe here. The temperature's dropped to a nice 25 degrees. That's the blue tablet I needed. That's an entrance. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the... ...appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Wow. See Emperor Leviathan data research. PDA data. Research data. Well, this egg's probably not alive, considering that this planet is wholly aquatic and... It's held being held out of water for like an extended amount of time. This is impressive, I... Whoa. This is the ventilation system. You can see peepers going up and down through the pipes. Integrating new PDA data. Peepers entering the containment facility. So this is where all the peepers always went. It looks quite an outflow pipe. Enzyme host peepers leaving the facility. Enzyme host? Whoa. It goes quite far down. Don't wanna go down there though. I have four port arcs, I think. And this is exactly why I made a second blue tablet. I knew it would be needed. can enter. There's nothing here though. There's only a giant. Uh. Huh? Ah! Oh good. What is this? This is huge. Hold on. Uh, maybe in a last ditch effort, if it attacks me, I could try and throw an iron cube at it, but it seems to be friendly. Oh god, there's stalkers. Okay, there's also bone sharks. But none of them seem to be attacking each other. Or even any of the other life forms that are not hostile. There's also rays and detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. X. 
So this is what that's all been about. Hatching the sea emperor's eggs. But why? I can insert an iron cube here. Incubator, hatching enzymes, sea emperor. Need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. It seems to be kind. God. The papers, they pull a trail of some kind of enzyme behind them. So, it was always about hatching. But. With the passage you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first, they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give this secret willingly. Hatching enzymes. New blueprint acquired. This. There it is. <sighs> Shit. Uh, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, this is already taking a toll. Sea crown seeds. A fungal sample. A bulb bush. A ghost weed. Seed and an ice stalk seed. I know where to find some of them. The fungal sample is in the forest. The bush bulb, a bulb bush, is over at life pot 12. Life pot 19 has the ice stalk, but the ghost weed, I have no clue. But I have the seeker obtained, and it is by far the rarest. I will travel. I will go out and seek these plants. Oh, this is a ghost weed. I haven't I have seen it. It is in the blood kelp zone, lost river, bulb zone. In the bulb zone! So we need two things from the bulb zone and one from the fungal and one from life pot nineteen. Where does this bring us though? Where does this portal take us? There can only be one answer. One portal unaccounted for. Of course. To the containment facility. The subnautica is here. I can return here to produce the enzyme too. I need to... I need to uh, go to the... Go to the spots where it is. Life pot 19. Life pot 12. And through the forest to life pot 13. All these spots, they do remain. But they are far off. Life pot 13 is about 1.6 kilometers away. Life pot 19, 2.5. And life pot 12, only a kilometer. I will travel there. Eat. I need one bulb or sample. Well. That helps the young hatch, but... Oh. 
Here I obtain a fungal sample. I have been quite lucky that these biomes are so nearby. How far I've come. Honestly, impressive. I don't know who was viewing my logs, or perhaps listening to them. But thank you to whoever was. Yes, it was not easy to make those. I mean, perhaps it was just apparent, it was just pressing a record button. But some effort went into them. And now that I'm on the verge of my own extinction, <laughs> I can't help but look back upon these. Weeks I've spent here on this planet. Fascinating of everything I saw, scared of this of the horrors that lurked beneath. Also where's the ghost weed I needed? Real bad. <laughs> Sounds like stuff you'd smoke when you are passed away. Could need some of those myself, but no time for jokes. I think that's it. Nope, that's just an ampule egg. Look at these two. This is a cuttlefish. They were hatched from these eggs. One sea crown seed. They are very kind creatures. Playful in comparison to all the other horrors that lurk somewhere. Then I will return. <laughs> Did I just walk on a fish? This is the f second to last ingredient. I should leave one of those. Wow, thank you. Kind stranger. It's the best. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Subnautica is truly a phenomenon. And I mean it in the most positive way. But. I have no time for casual talk now. I think this is it. I found the blood trench. Wait, it was the here the entire time? Okay, sorry, I, I just need to talk for one second by myself. Oh, you know, to you. I was looking for the blood trench all over the place because I did not know where it was. And it was here the entire time over at LifePod 19. Oh. Let's just take this one. There it is. That's one final recipe. It has been made. Now the Cyclops will stay here. Maybe one day someone will find it. Someone will find it and say, I will take this and I will use it. And it will help them. But... Hmm. Perhaps no one will ever return to this planet. <gasps> I'm getting tired. Come on. I know, it's just a few more meters. I know. Uh, they have fetched. They are free.
She has been weakened to the point at which she can no longer stand. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, Martyr. to go to sleep and never wake up? And Perhaps 42. next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Goodbye. I wonder what happens if I touch this. Uh, this is not getting off. Uh, what? Uh, what has happened? Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. I've been cured. Welcome aboard, Captain. She's given her life for me to be cured. And for the for the Kara art to be potentially wiped out. It has been done. I can finally leave. I can't believe it. I need I need to go to this facility now. Oi. Ow. It has been shut down. I am free to leave. Thank Gaia for that. Two titanium ingots. Expensive. A computer chip and four lead. Do I even have four lead? I only need copper. I only need... Um... Table corals, right? They're here. Here they are. I also have one more table. Wait, do I? Oh, I haven't crafted one into. You know what? Let's just make a bit more lube. Let's get more. <sighs> One more titanium ingot. Now for the copper wire for the computer chip. Copper wire. The, the chip. There we go. This is huge. Well then, let us see to the construction of this monstrosity. This was the only thing I needed to build in order to make it. Because now I have a console on this thing, apparently. Paper wire. Of course. So out to find more titanium. Perhaps it will not be extremely expensive, but I know the iron batteries will be required. 
I mean, it was kind of obvious when they said a huge power cell and then I randomly found a huge power cell in some alien facility. I should also pick up some quartz for later. Do I have a full inventory? No. Good. Because I would have needed the scanner right now. <laughs> that was very smart leaving it at home. Now I can only pick up metal scraps and hope that I can... Titanium? More titanium, and even more titanium. Then, there's no lemon here. I always forget which containers I put it into. Lithium, uh, titanium, and plastic ingots. All right, there we go. Plastic ingot, and I only need to produce one more copper wire. I have enough copper, which is rare, because it feels like copper is the rarest resource in this entire fucking game, because at least some, like diamonds are quite common in the lower zones, and you know, all everything is quite common in the lower zones, except copper. That's only the gantry crane. It starts to take on for shape. I can proudly say that I've survived being infected by a deadly bacteria, assaulted by hundreds of sea monsters, <laughs> probably diving into depths I shouldn't have been diving into more often than not, and especially the goddamn Aurora exploding. Boosters, a wiring kit, and not damn it. <sighs> Nickel ore, I have that, and aerogel, I have that too. Yeah, I do, I do, okay. Aerogel, wiring kit. I wonder how often I can do this. Will it go past 99? Let us find out now. It will go past 99, okay, that's not so exciting. Aerogel? One, aerogel two. A wiring kit. Lore. I have quite a bit of that. I'm pretty sure I'll need kyanite too. With one wiring kit, I can wire an entire rocket booster. Well, that's some statement I would think I would have never said, but these robots are doing hard work, so let's never complain again. Also, it looks like they're just building out a hull, but they're just flying through it too, so maybe they're building everything too. And there we go! Without, you know, we were just waiting a bit longer. Fuel reserve. One, two ion power cells, four crystalline sulfur. Oh, I picked up two, I think. Oh no, four kyanite and one plastiling it again. Please don't have me do this. Islands. And going through the portal down to the sea cave and burning my bottle. Except, of course, if I am extremely lucky and have thought about this in prior. I have not. Meaning I have probably got to go down there again. Oh, I hate this fucking thing. Why does it cost four crystalline sulfur too? I have every material at my disposal. You know, except for titanium apparently, but that's not that important. Fucking hate this. Three! I have three crystalline sulfur because I forgot to pick up one. One more. Well, seems like the Neptune is not gonna be constructed right now. I'm gonna cut this out and just cut myself. Cut, in my, cut myself building the rest of the rocket, I guess. Okay, see you then. Oh, I gathered all these materials. This one singular crystalline sulfur was what remained. What I needed. Also, I gathered a bit of more titanium, so...
know where was the building plan. There's fuel reserve. Four kyanite and two of these power cells. One, two, three, four. How do I craft the power cells then? They need ion batteries and silicone rubber. Good thing I have a bit of silicone rubber. Now what do the ion batteries need? Uh one ion cube, gold and silver. Golden I have silver. So that's oh, enough ion battery. And that's the fourth one. Now I need one and two. And that's it. Nearly. One more part remaining, I think. This is going to be expensive, I bet ya. Please don't need any more crystalline sulfur, it's the one resource I don't have. Computer chip, enamel glass one, plastic ingot, and a cyclops shield generator. And what does the Cyclops Seal Generator need? Uh, I already have the blueprint for that, luckily. Polyaniline, a power cell, which I already have an advanced variant kit. So I need a wiring kit. An advanced wiring kit, meaning one more golden, one computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. I can't make the hydrochloric acid yet, but I can make another computer chip. I don't need copper right now. Oh, look how convenient. There's one around here. Great, I didn't even need to pick up any scrap metal and wait. There's actually multiple here. I don't know how they stayed here, but I'll take them. Take most of it, but whatever. Name glass. On titanium ingot. One plus steel ingot. One computer chip. Let's go check on the... I think this looks nice enough. Just just play with my cuttlefish for a bit. I mean, I set them here. I hatched them in my alien aquarium. So I should just play with them a little bit. Good lad. Now... It's not been a nice garden, but it's been good enough. Well then... Hydrochloric acid. Polyaniline. Your deck. I can fabricate... The Cyclops Shield Generator. Well, it is time. Is the other... Yeah, the engine has been turned off. Let's climb down one more time. And remember, of course, that the Seamoth had to be sacrificed in order to get where I am now. Bit of construction. It 
it has been built. I'll name it. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. that has been given to me over all these weeks. Of course, this Let's Play hasn't been received as well as Bowser's Fury has been. Sure. But let me just tell you, it's been a lot of fun playing through Subnautica with some basic knowledge of the game again. Now this looks good. Before I leave, there's one more thing I need to do. I can't take my cuttlefish with me, sadly. They have to leave. They have to be left behind, unfortunately. I know most of you will not have watched this until now, or not even the first few, since they're all hours long and people cut together their content nowadays like they cut their hair very short segments. No, we have to say farewell, little boy. Where's the other one? I hope I can see you once more one day, my little one. I hope it. One last look at the aurora. Of the planets... Of a planet? A moon? Whatever it may be. Well then... Let's boot it up. Systems array active. Pressurizing hydraulics. Huh. Past this core of pure energy. Luckily, we're an engineer, so. Life support systems online. Primary computer systems active. <sighs> Just one more thing. All systems are go for lift off. Yes, computer, I know, but <laughs> looks good enough. <laughs> Sorry. My recording program is lagging behind. Well, at least it's recording now. I wish I could have caught this full. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Uh, the metal plate's back. Uh, oh, we survived. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. That was close. Well then. To all who have watched until now, despite the many cuts. Near 
first interstellar phase gate. Despite the many failures, despite the bad commentary and all this stuff. Ion boosters in three, two, one. And thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next project. What is a wave without the ocean? About an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sands. We are, but we go together.